So Ted Cruz continues to insist that he and his wife are the real victims of the media storm around his Cancun trip. The victims aren't actually the constituents he and his family left behind while they went on a luxury vacation to Cancun and people were freezing cold in the dark without power and water and food in many cases. No, the real victims are the Cruz family because his wife's texts were leaked to the media. Yeah, I will say Heidi's pretty pissed at that. She actually was over at a neighbor's house yesterday, sort of walking through. So she texted several of our neighbors. Now, look, our neighbors, we've got a number of Republicans who are neighbors, but we also have a number of Democrats. Right. And so, you know, with folks on our street who put up Beto signs, which I thought was a little, a little, uh, a little rude. <laughs> um, but, but, you know, I was, you know, I didn't like hold a victory party in the front yards when we, when we won. So, you know, I was, uh, look, obviously... So, it's a sign of how ridiculously politicized and nasty and, and just, uh, you know, here's a suggestion. Just don't be assholes. Yeah, like, right. like, just, you know, treat each other as human beings. Have, have some degree, some modicum of respect. Heidi and I have lots of friends who are Democrats and, and you know, we'll... How out of touch was that clip now it goes on for a little bit before and after that the whole podcast is about an hour but the point is ted cruz really does think that he's the victim here that he and his wife are the victim here that the biggest tragedy here aren't the lost lives and the suffering and the fact that he abandoned people and lied about it we covered the lies tried to blame his daughters invited his roommate he said that he was just going for overnight to chaperone but actually he changed his it after he got caught like none of that matters what matters is that somebody leaked the texts and listen to the lack of self-awareness in what he's saying there he's saying to people how about you just don't be a-holes how about you just show some common respect and decency for people how about you just show you know some common humanity and respect everyone's privacy and respect everyone as decent human beings well yeah ted if you did that if you did that, you wouldn't have had those texts leak because you wouldn't have gone to Cancun. If you showed the decency and you weren't an a-hole and you were a decent person and you thought of your fellow Texans as not a problem to escape, but people to help, you wouldn't have gone to Cancun. Your family wouldn't have gone to Cancun. You would have stayed behind and helped and did what AOC and Beto O'Rourke and millions of regular Texans did, which was raise money and donate things and volunteer and check in on the elderly and check in on those with disabilities and check in on those with young children and these sorts of things. The most vulnerable to make sure everyone was as safe and comfortable as possible. Yes, you couldn't have fixed it. Yes, it's more than one man can do yes you're not the governor or the head of the energy grid in, in texas but you could have done a lot and you chose to do nothing you're the a-hole here ted and i love how like again he's like oh it's just it's just such a violation of our privacy basically it's like no man you are a political family you should know that those sort of texts will get out your wife should understand that you're not just a senator of like the second biggest state in the country you came very close to being the republican nominee in 2016 which means you could have been president so you should know that nothing ever really truly stays private in a group dm and further to that like you could see here he tries to make this a partisan issue on the one hand he sort of says oh geez you know we have a lot of republican friends but we also have democrats Democrats. And, you know, I think this leaked because everything is just so gosh darn partisan right now, sort of implying that his Democratic neighbor snitched on him. But I've seen no proof and he doesn't necessarily offer proof that like it was a Democratic friend on that DM chat on the on the group chat that leaked the messages. For all we know, it could have been one of his Republican friends, because I'll be honest with you. Yeah, some of this is partisan, but a lot of Republicans were mad at Ted Cruz as well. A lot of Republicans on the ground maybe like some of Ted Cruz's ideological ideas, but they don't respect cowardice and abandonment. 
They don't. There are certain common sense values that unite people. And one of the reasons this story is so massive is that it's not just about ideology. Somebody feels it in their gut that they were abandoned by their senator. And they, and they were abandoned by their senator. And that crosses party lines. And I think your neighbors, Republican neighbors and Democratic neighbors, maybe had motive to leak these texts because you were lying in the media. Look, the whole story here is bonkers, again. And I think that Ted Cruz really needs to, you know, be pulled aside by PR people or his staff or whatever. Because, like, let's be clear, like, he keeps making this the story. At first, it was all of his lies, and now it's the victim complex. And one more thing here. Ted can talk about human decency and respect and not being overly partisan, but the podcast he went on is called Ruthless. And if you look at the graphic on the screen when I paid you the clip, it's not Ruthless all one word. It's Ruth less. And this podcast started about half a week after Ruth Bader Ginsburg passed away, and there's a picture of the court behind the main graphic. That's what you saw there. That's the podcast. It's a podcast that in its titling mocks the death of a, of a, of a Supreme Court justice because she was considered a liberal lion, and that gave the conservatives more power and influence. So if you go on a podcast that, you know, is all about, it's framed on the passing of a judge and you beg for human decency while you let your constituents freeze to death, I'm not going to have any sympathy for you, Ted.